parts of the northern hemisphere and another opportunity last night to see the northern lights. And while that didn't pan out for most areas, including right here in Minnesota, we will likely have many more opportunities in the months ahead. Meteorologist Cody Matz is here to explain why. Hey, good morning. So the Aurora Borealis or Northern Lights, as it's called, having a bit of a moment, aren't they? They have been seen all across the planet several times over the last several months. So why are we seeing these so often now as opposed to what we've seen in the past? Well, it all has to do with our sun's sunspot cycle, and right now it's at its peak. So sunspots are slightly cooler, but very unstable pockets on our star itself. Each individual spot appears and disappears on a kind of fairly random basis, but the sun itself has a cycle where it goes from what's called solar minimum, where it's on the left over here, to a solar maximum, which is over here on the right. They look different, right? Well, the minimum is without sunspots, making the sun look fairly stable and benign, while the maximum often has dozens of sunspots, and some, uh, and the uh, plasma and particles in those spots themselves are quite unstable and eventually get launched away. Well, here's a better way to see the actual difference here. Very uniform looking here on the left with solar minimum, no sun sunspots and then dozens of differently shaped sunspots here at solar maximum on the right. So because of the unstable nature of these spots themselves, the plasma and other particles will eventually get launched into space every so often. Now this is video from NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory of the uh, one of the larger events that happened back in May when many of us here in Minnesota, even in the Twin Cities Metro core, could actually see the northern lights. Well, it's a spectacular showing of the Aurora Borealis from these particular spots. Now notice how these flares seem to pulse or kind of flare. It's one of the reasons why we call them solar flares. They kind of flare outwards. So it's these flares that actually send out particles in all directions, but will often get directed towards Earth at times. Now, these particles aren't visible to the naked eye, but here's an artist rendering of what that may actually look like. Now, these particles traveling hundreds of thousands of miles per hour eventually hit the magnetic field just outside of our atmosphere and then are deflected around us. It's this deflection that what we see is the northern lights. So now, we have seen the northern lights a lot more as of late because our sun is in the solar maximum I talked about earlier. Now the sun goes through an 11 year cycle of this, so it reaches solar maximum every 11 years. Well, this is a graph that charts the number of sunspots over the last few decades. Well, the peak of our last uh, solar cycle was back in 2013, but was fairly inactive. In fact, it was one of the least inactive. You see it right here with the, the lack of peak here. Uh, it was the least inactive over the last 100 plus years or so. However, as we move forward, we'll likely see more than Northern Lights opportunities. So it's been generally 20 or so years since we've seen really anything resembling the current solar maximum of what we've seen so far, which is why it seems like we haven't really experienced this before because honestly, if you're under the age of 30, you really haven't. You haven't been alive or don't remember the last time we've seen a solar cycle uh, this active. For you old timers, look to all the way to the left. That's the, uh, the solar maximum back in the 1950s. And you're like, when I was a kid, I saw this a lot. Well, then you're probably right because it was a very, very um, high peak in terms of sunspots. We likely had a lot of northern lights back in the 50s. So lots of charts and graphs I could tell you, but we go through an 11 year solar cycle. We are maximizing that now. We haven't seen anything similar to this in about 20, 25 years. One of the reasons why like, oh, yeah. now this has become a thing again. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I've seen it more probably in the last year or so than I've have my whole life. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, same with same with me. I didn't really get the opportunity when I was a young kid to see this. Yeah, when we had the uh, maximum uh, solar cycle back in the 90s. So now we're getting that opportunity. Good news is the solar the maximum cycle typically lasts through the winter season. So we should have another. Well, we'll call it six to 12 months to actually see the northern lights around here. Yeah. Very, very cool. Thank you, Cody. Yep.